Hi, Martin. So it's lovely to be here with you. Hello, Alice. I can't believe I'm here, to be quite honest. <laughs> and how are you finding London today? Oh, good. Good, yeah. I haven't done too much apart from interviews. So. <laughs> well, I've got some questions from the fans, which I've been asking on the Facebook page. Um, so if I start reading some out and we get mm -hmm. some answers from you. Um, we know that you write a lot of the music sort of for Depeche Mode. Um, have you written any poetry before? I have never written poetry as such, no. Mm. Um, I don't even usually write words and put them to music. Mm. I, when I write songs I usually start doing something musical either on a guitar or piano or you know, computer and start singing along. So, you know, it's not like I even write poetry and put it to music. So, no. Brilliant. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what are your in, like individual motivations for Depeche Mode? Why do you still keep going and bringing out new um, pieces of music? Well, personally, uh, because I love music. Um, because if I didn't make music, I don't know what I would do. I don't have any other interests. I don't have a life outside of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a question from sunny South Africa. Um, okay, Martin, how much influence did the Sparks have on you as an artist and your career? I used to love Sparks when I was growing up. Um, uh, yeah, I loved um, uh, Indiscreet and Kimono My House. I think they were my two favourite albums, mm. um, and there was, I think they had a, a, a funny influence on me because I think that, that there was something kind of a little bit pervy about sp Sparks <laughs> that kind of stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris has asked, um, did anyone pick up the receiver to allow you to make them a believer? <laughs> <laughs> um, How would you answer that one <laughs> to the fans? Uh, well, I, I'll answer that one by saying, yeah, I wrote I, I wrote that song after reading Priscilla Presley's book about Elvis. Okay. So it was kind of like I was imagining kind of their relationship more. If you wanted to get new fans into your music. Um, what one album would you recommend to start them off with? What's, what would you say is a really key album to you? Well, I think probably I would have to say, you know, if you're going to start somewhere, probably be, should be Violator. I definitely agree with that. So how um, should a proper revolution look in a world full of violence and awful rhetoric? Is there a place for a peaceful but effective revolution? In regards I, to your new... Yeah. I think that the um, that yeah the, the, the way to um, protest is to get out and protest peacefully. Mm -hmm. You know, so for instance, you know, I live in America, um, and the way things have been going over the last few weeks has given me a little bit of hope in the American system, because I thought that Trump was going to be able to put through all of his, um, you know, crazy ideas that he's been saying he's going to implement, you know, right throughout the, the campaign. But, you know, the Muslim ban got rejected by judges and now the, he's um, um, repealing Obamacare as, you know, didn't pass Congress. Mm. So, you know, I'm hoping that, that, that he's going to struggle to get any of his crazy ideas through. So what are you thinking about when you're on stage and you're staring out at a huge audience? What comes to mind? Is there anything at all? Or is it just concentrating on what you're doing? Well, other than pure fear, you mean? <laughs> I can imagine that as well. <laughs> no, I, I actually uh, don't. I, I, I used to get this thing where I used to say to Peter every time we, we walked on stage, tell me I'm not going to die on stage tonight. And he used to say, you're not going to die on stage. And I go, OK. <laughs> so I used to get like a bit scared. I don't know why I was scared of dying on stage, but 
you know, because if you die, you're dead. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> but yeah. um, but I don't get that scared these days. And it's just no, I'm just concentrating on on uh, singing and performing. Mm. And what would you say is your favourite country to perform in? What country do you get a lot of love from? We are really spoiled. So, um, you know, we, we Germany is always great. France is good. I mean, Europe in general is good. Mm. Um, but I think even the British are catching up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think so. I'd like to yeah, think so. I mean, so. even Glasgow the other night, I mean, I'm actually probably, probably maybe 75% of the audience were not, not British. <laughs> Yeah, we've but, had quite a few people actually who were there at the Glasgow show, and they've asked, "How did you find that?" And yeah, it was. Uh, the show, it, it was returning there again. It was the, um, the, the. It felt like you know the first time we performed uh, for three years, even though we've already done a couple of like smaller shows. Yeah, that one really felt like a proper concert. It, I think it made us all feel like we're itching to get back out and play in front of crowds again. Mm, I can imagine. And in terms of professional sort of accomplish accomplishments and regrets, what would you say is maybe your deepest professional regret and your greatest professional achievement? And this is from Courtney. I think our greatest achievement is our longevity. You know, we're, we're still together, still making music, still popular, 37 years after we started. So, I think you know that's. I, I think that's amazing. I think so too. <laughs> um, and I mean, if you're still there after thirty-seven years, you can't have too many regrets. I don't have. I don't have any great regrets. You know, I could look back and say I shouldn't have worn that because it looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but, Anything uh, in particular? <laughs> No, no, it's generally only anything I wore in the eighties. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, you know, that maybe there was a purpose for it. Well, thank you. All right, thank it's you. It's been great to meet you. Good to meet you. Thank you, thank Alice. Thank you. <laughs>